You're wondering how pro players shoot like this. Some of your favorite players like Simp, Scomp, Dashy, Celium do these five things. Tip number one, which is one of the most important things in Call of Duty or any FPS for that matter, it's going to be centering. Now, you've probably heard this before, and if you're wondering what that means, it's essentially one, having your dot or your crosshair in the center of your screen like this. And two, centering where you think your opponent's going to be and where you anticipate them to be. That way, all you have to do is aim in. And you know a lot of pro players have incredible centering. You watch them play. You see them snapping on their opponents like it's nothing. Just like that. See how I, I jumped back and centered up here because I saw him up there? Now, a few tips when it comes to centering is one... When you're playing and if your centering is kind of bad, you're going to want to be mindful of it. And as you're maneuvering around the map, make sure you're stuck in the center of your screen. So you're going to want to be centered at all times as you're running around. It will look something like this. And you, as you can see, I'm centered and I'm ready to shoot as they go in front of my screen. It's fairly simple and fairly easy. Now, another thing when it comes to centering is whenever you're centering in certain locations... It can depend on, you know, how high or how low the area is. So, for example, if I'm going up these stairs, I'm not going to center low. Instead, I'm going to slightly move up and then go back to center. Gradually go down, back to center. You see? So, it just depends where you're moving around the map and where you need to center. And where you think somebody's going to be. If I think someone's up on this head glitch where I see a red dot, I'm going around the corner like this. You see how I'm centered on my opponent and ready to just snap and shoot? And that's how pros and really good players get some crazy kills. Now, that does take a little bit getting used to, but sooner or later, you start to really get a hang of it and start centering everywhere and getting ready for your opponents. And that's going to make so much difference in your shot and in your aim in general. So practice centering, change the altitude, anticipate your opponents, and you're going to be locked. Tip number two, let's talk about recoil control. Now, in Call of Duty, for the most part, the recoil control is very simple. You're going to want to hold down on your right stick because usually it's more so vertical than horizontal, right? So I'm going to pull down slightly into my left stick as I'm shooting, right? I'm going to slightly pull down ever so slightly to kind of keep it in that center. Now, the horizontal recoil, it's hard to combat that. You try a little bit, you know, if it's going, let's say, up to the right, you're going to want to pull slow, lightly to uh, obviously blow like to the bottom and slightly to the left to combat that recoil pattern. So every gun is different. Usually also attachments help you with the uh, uh, combat, the horizontal recoil. That's why they say it's better to put horizontal recoil control attachments versus vertical. Because at the end of the day, I can always just pull down my stick, even if it has a massive, massive vertical recoil. But especially on a controller, it's a lot more difficult to control the horizontal as well. So you're going to want to figure out, you know, you can go to a wall. You can go somewhere on the map. You can shoot your gun if you want to see kind of the recoil pattern. You can see this goes, it shoots up and then starts like first 10 bullets. It goes up and then starts shooting to the right. So in this case, what would I do in this situation, right? You're going to want to fight that. So you want to slightly pull down and then start pulling slightly to the left. And you see how I was able to keep it right in the center just by controlling my stick and the recoil. Now, this does take getting a little used to, and it's going to be difficult at first, but it's just like anything, practice and a muscle memory. But the one tip I will give you just in general, and it's something I already mentioned, when it comes to recoil control with any weapon and you're shooting your gun, the main thing, just pull down a little bit. Because at the end of the day, you're going to shoot the gun a little bit better. You're going to shoot a little bit straighter. And you can obviously implement something that is the next tip, which will help you with this as well. And that takes me to tip number three. As you see, as I'm strafing, as I'm using both my sticks, it's called rotational aim assist. It's called strafing. And there's two big reasons why this is really good and why the pros use this very effectively. Laser. So there's two parts to this tip. Now, one, we're going to talk about rotational aim assist and then strafing and get, you know, because that also helps a lot. So when I shoot, I'm always strafing left to right, left to right. So I'm constantly strafing back and forth. Now, this is going to allow two things. One, while I'm strafing, I'm using my right stick less. I'm using essentially both sticks, right? So I'm using my right stick less and I'm kind of strafing myself into them. So I'm using both to aim. 
what that does is one it's giving me rotational aim assist which is basically a stronger aim assist so when i aim at people and shoot at people my aim assist is going to be a little bit stickier which is going to allow me to hit my targets a little bit quicker and a little bit easier now you've probably seen this in past call of duties you've probably heard about this in Warzone, whatever the case may be it's a known thing and it's a very effective thing so definitely when you're shooting people a lot of times like i'm always strafing like 98 percent of the time 99 percent of the time i'm strafing every pro player does this you know they're constantly strafing left to right as they're shooting as they're getting in gunfights and it's going to help you win more gunfights because again you're just going to miss less and you're going to hit your shots now something else to add on top of that is while you're strafing as well not only are you getting the extra rotational aim assist but i could just pre aim like this like that was me i barely touched my right stick right there that was simply me pulling back on my rotational aim assist and strafing my shot into the guy so i can literally just not use my look this is just using my left stick you can essentially almost use your left stick completely to strafe your shot into people and i'm trying to make an example there without barely using my right stick and you can see so not only you know do you use your right stick less but pretty much what's going to happen is you're just going to have more aim, more room to work with. And you have to, because when you use your right stick only, it's so sensitive. And, you know, they can just move and you can miss. And it's it's just harder to be so precise with it. But when you use both sticks, you just get to hit more shots. As simple as that. Tip number four. And this is kind of a new one with Black Ops 6 with Omni Movement being involved as well. Something you see pro players do very well is they don't overdo the movement and at the same time they use the movement correctly so let's talk about movement to use using the movement correctly first when they slide cancel they obviously slide canceling while centering on their opponent or where they're going to be so it's an implementing movement with centering and that and then obviously you implement you know strafing right so that's why they're so effective when it comes to hitting their shots even while they're using movement and you know what? Movement, movement being a bigger thing and Omni movement being a bigger thing. Something you have to note is you don't always have to be using Omni movement. Sometimes it's better to just be like this and just getting ready to aim and shoot your weapon. And don't think you have to be using Omni movement. The Omni movement or even overdoing movement will hurt your aim more than you think. Especially when it comes to sprinting, sliding, tactical sprint. These things slow down your ADS versus if you're just standing or walking. So usually you ADS quicker versus if I'm trying to do this and then I ADS after tactical sprint. It's a little bit slower. So you see how I'm just able to snap as I'm walking or kind of just standing still. It's just easier. So to summarize this tip, use movement while centering and do not overdo the movement. And you're going to notice really quickly that it's hurting you more than you think. And tip number five, let's break down some very important pro player settings and kind of go over it very quickly. So most pros play on 661 and that's because they have better centering. It's, and it's what I talked about. Since their sensitivity is slower as they're maneuvering around the map, whether they're going high, low, anticipating the opponent. Their centering is on point, which obviously once they're centering, once they're centered on their opponent, it's so much easier to hit their shots. So most played six, some seven, rarely eight. So I usually recommend between six to seven cents. I'm not a pro player anymore, so I just play on seven, seven sensitivity, you know, retired two-time world champion, but it's not about me, okay? I'm here to help you guys. Next, let's talk about the dead zone inputs. Now by default, this game automatically has the dead zone inputs at 15 which is od and trust me man this is hurting your aim more than you think this almost feels like a slight delay if you ever had like controller delay you know or tv delay so right stick minimum i highly recommend you drop it to five at least or if you can drop it to like four and three you know you feel comfortable then you can drop it even lower you essentially get more control of your aim and your stick i have it on three for now and if you have a little bit stick drift don't worry about it you can control stick drift it's not a big deal Obviously, make your right stick max 99. Do not touch this one. And let's talk about one more thing. Before we talk about that thing, obviously, since I play on 7.7 currently, my sensitivity multiplier usually hovers between 0.85 to 0.87. Depending if I want it slightly slower or slightly faster, this is going to slow down my ADS sense. If you are playing on a higher sense aside from 6, I highly recommend you drop your ADS sense just a little bit because this is going to help you, obviously, when you're aimed down sight. You're gonna, your, your stick is barely going to move. Your aim is barely going to move. And you're going to hit your shots easier. Then we're going to want to go to aiming advanced settings. And there's a very special, special setting here. Aim response curve type. Make sure it's on dynamic. 
Now, this has been a setting since 2019. I'll never forget MW and everyone started using it. And it's just the go to setting. 99% of pro players use it. You should too. That's pretty much it gives you that snap ability. It basically goes from slow, fast to at the end, very slow. So you're able to like move your stick really quickly and snap on your targets and take them out. This has been a guide on how to aim like the pros. I try to be as quick and effective for you guys. If you enjoyed it or you learned something new, make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget, practice makes perfect. So you're definitely going to want to implement these things to your game. And trust me, you will see a difference. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.